Hello everyone, Jeremy Wilson here, founder of FiredOrDenied.com and today we are going to be speaking about ways to reduce and eliminate debt. I'm creating this quick video for this purpose right here and that is in step one here. Uh, we're going to create a spreadsheet of your assets and debts and I just, I could have spelled this out right here but I figured I would I would throw in a video at this point just to make things quick and easy for you because uh, a lot of people aren't familiar with how to create a spreadsheet uh, or uh, more specifically how to create a spreadsheet of your assets versus your debt so I'm going to show you uh, a quick way to do that really easily and that'll just give you a good snapshot of your current financial uh, situation uh, you know if you've been fired or denied employment recently and that's of course one of the first steps you need to do is just take a good account and get a good clear idea of where you sit financially what your liquid cash uh, or liquid assets are uh, versus your liabilities or liabilities meaning your debts uh, and so on and so forth so without any further ado let's jump right into it okay so one quick and easy way to create a spreadsheet that is easily accessible uh, on any of your devices and will save you know to a cloud Google's cloud for instance or your Google Docs uh, is to go to Google alright so google.com and then if you just click in this little box up here in the right hand top right hand corner you go to Google Drive click on that and once inside Google Drive you just go to this little tab right here that says my drive and you click the down arrow and you'll see that there's several options here Google Docs, Google Sheets, Slides and even Google Forms, Drawings and Maps and so on and so forth uh, but you want this one right here that says Google Sheets so just click on that once you've opened a new Google Sheet that you can see this is kinda like Microsoft Excel for instance you've got all your tools up here for formatting your sheet you may or may not be familiar with how to format um, you can always go to help go to format tab uh, you know either one of those to to learn how uh, you can watch you know Google's uh, tutorials on how to set up your sheets and whatnot I'm also going to show you another way where you can get some templates so that you don't have to go through all this work of setting all this up uh, however if you are familiar with this then this is a great way uh, to just create a quick and simple snapshot of your assets versus liabilities or assets versus debts. Uh, so one of the first things you'd want to do is go up here and title it. So you can title this as my assets versus liabilities uh, slash debts, however you want to call it. And uh, then you can go in here and, you know, title, put your your categories across this page here and you can title your account names right here and I, uh, just to save time I've already kind of created just a quick sheet that shows you like you know account name current balance amount owed monthly payments interest percent uh, and then over here you've got your account names that would go down in this column uh, for instance your mortgage your car your auto insurance credit card number one number two your checking, your savings, you know, you could do 401ks, uh, pensions, you know, investments, anything of that sort, anything that you have that would be an asset of any type, you could list in this column here. Uh, and then once again, like if you want to save time, then you'll go in here and you'll format these different cells so that they'll add things up for you automatically and it would help save you some time. So that's just a quick and easy way uh, to get a free template create your own, uh, you can customize it how you want, and it's saved to your Google Drive so that you can access it from any device, anywhere, anytime you have an internet connection. If you do not wish to go through all this trouble of you know, setting up your own or formatting your own spreadsheet, then I've found a really good place that offers some excellent templates uh, that I'll recommend to you, and I'll leave a link below this video uh, to these already pre-formatted uh, spreadsheets so that you don't have to mess with all this and just help save you some time. They have a wealth of various types of spreadsheets that will really help you dig in and get a good look at your personal financial situation 
versus your debts or liabilities. So without any further ado, let's head over there. All right, so now you can see I am at www.vertex42.com. Okay, Vertex42. Like I said, I'll, I'll put a link below this video uh, just to make it nice and easy for you, something that you can just click on and it'll take you right here. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about misspelling it or forgetting about it or whatnot. You can always come back to this video or this blog post and get your link right below this video. Uh, but anyhow, uh, Vertex42, uh, they have many different things that will help you, uh, you know, to guide, to excel in everything. And uh, basically, this is based off of the Microsoft Excel uh, platform. So if you have Excel, that would be awesome. If not, you know, they can, there's links within here that will help you get Microsoft Excel. Um, let's see, they have Excel templates, budget templates, invoice, blah, blah, blah. Uh, all different types of calculators, word templates, legal forms. Uh, this could be helpful to you later also if you've just lost your job. Uh, or lost your income source of, of whatever type, this will give you word templates on resumes and cover letters and whatnot that will help you in your job search as well. Uh, so what you can easily do, I've already typed this in up here, is up in the top search box here, their search box, you'll type in assets versus liabilities templates. Okay, assets versus liabilities template. And that will bring you to, let's just hit go, this page, which if you scroll down, now right here there's some ads and whatnot, you can just ignore that. Uh, but if you scroll down here, scroll down here, you will see that there's a, a wealth of various types of templates. Uh, for instance, there's, you know, there's business templates, there's personal finance uh, templates. And see this one here, this download a personal financial statement template for Excel. That includes a personal balance sheet for listing assets and liabilities. All right, and then there's also, I like this one here, a free debt reduction calculator for Excel. So you can download a free reduction calculator spreadsheet and eliminate your debt using the debt snowball or debt reduction strategies. So this, these two here would be awesome for this particular, or in regards to this particular article that we're discussing here, all right, which is reduction of your debt or elimination of your debt. So if you just click on one of these, it's going to give you an option to download it. It's give you a little bit of uh, a description of what you're, what they're giving you here, and you can see the description down below. What's it for? Uh, preview of what the documents will look like, and you just click this download button. Simple as that. All right. Uh, if you look over to the right, whenever you've selected a particular template. It'll give you related templates, which can also be a benefit to you. Uh, like, for for instance, in regards to this particular article, uh, family budget planner and a money management template. So these are all good good things. And then financial statements, cash flow, and then there's budget. So they've really made it really easy to find what you need uh, right here in one place. Let's go back and take a look at that debt elimination or debt reduction calculator. So we're going to click on that here. So the debt reduction snowball calculator, and of course it explains what the snowball effect is uh, right here. It gives you a little video that you can watch uh, that just walks you through the debt reduction calculator and shows you how to use it. Uh, this is a great, great tool, and once again, this is already templated, already formatted, already coded, and everything. So you just punch in your numbers, and it calculates everything up for you. And you can see it's good for Excel 2007 or later, <clears throat> or Excel for iPad or iPhone. So it can be used on either platform. Uh, you can download the free version here, and then they also have a uh, an extended version that uh, just gives you more options and whatnot that's only $9.95 for personal use. So uh, I've got some great stuff here. Oh, and then there's a pro version. I don't know if you necessarily need to get into all of that unless you have just a you know wide, wide variety of, of assets and debts um, that you know list up to 20 or 40 creditors. So 
you know, you, you can determine which one's going to work best for you. That's completely up to you, but they do have the free version here and a walkthrough video tutorial that shows you how to use it. And you can see you can list up to 10 creditors here um, or move up to the next one for 20 to 40 so for just the $9.95. So anyway, uh, there's how to get uh, your spreadsheet going so that you can get a good snapshot of your debts and your liabilities. And I'm going to be placing, you know, this video tutorial here uh, right under Create Spreadsheet of Your Assets. And then, like I said, I'll, I'll give you a link to that website where you can get those free templates uh, to download just to help save you some time and whatnot. I'll put that link right below the video here. So on to the next topic.